Hey everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you so much again for spending your valuable time with me. If you decided to click on a video, here you are. Uh, again, back with more Transformers uh, goodness here, Studio Series 86. I love this line. I love Transformers, as you guys, as you guys can tell. So definitely was looking forward here to Braun. Again, based on his Studio Series, uh, I guess on his movie um, look, which is obviously based on a G1 cartoon. So I'm so glad. Uh, we're still getting the smaller robots, which is uh, great. Obviously, Beachcomber came out recently as well. So it's nice to be able to get these smaller ones. Uh, there you go. No plastic. No plastic window. Uh, again, um, Studio Series 86 with some artwork here. And then on the back, the uh, robot itself, vehicle mode. And they show you there that he does come in with also a little uh, diorama or background picture. I love uh, the way the artwork looks here um, with the Autobot logo here on the top. So that's really cool. I believe these also used to have plastic windows. So it looks like they got rid of those as well. But nice, neat little package. Definitely looking to see what Braun's all about. But he looks awesome just by looking at him here. So we'll open this up and give you guys my thoughts. Okay, guys. So let's get into uh, Braun here. I've got him out of the box. Had a, a chance to transform him. Uh, pretty cool figure. I'm so happy we keep getting these uh, smaller mini bots again from the Studio Series line. So uh, you get your instructions. Uh, again, I would review them. Uh, it's uh, some neat steps in the transformation there. It's about uh, 23 different steps to get this guy into his uh, uh, bot mode and back. You get his uh, gun here. So you guys could see there's some uh, detail there. Uh, nothing too crazy, but I think it's well done for a small handgun. Of course, you get brawn there. Uh, one of the cool things is being a Studio Series uh, figure is, of course, you get the movie background. And in this case, there's a hole in the shuttle. <laughs> so um, obviously, this is from the uh, 86 Transformers movie. Uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with the movie, if you've seen it, you all know what happens uh, in this scene to this guy and a couple of other guys, uh, Transformers there, uh, when Megatron comes in with the Decepticons. But really cool, again, if this is something you want to use for your posing, uh, I really like the fact that they're starting to include these. I myself don't have a lot of room for uh, dioramas or backgrounds, so I tend to throw these out. But this is a really nice one. Now, on to the, the main figure here. Really well done for the most part. I, I have very little gripes uh, about this guy. And I think it's me more being nitpicky. But overall, that head is just spot on. Um, really well done. At the, I like the gray there. That's a nice and shiny. You guys could see a close up of the face again. No flaws. This is Braun from the cartoon from the G1 movie. Really nice. I've always appreciated that this guy always reminded me of Jorgonaut from the X Men with the helmet like head. And I think this whole structure here on the back too. Uh, I appreciate that. I think again they've done a good job moving on to the torso here. This uh, Autobot symbol. The yellow here, it's like a mustard uh, kind of yellow, almost reminds me of Bumblebee's uh, yellow. But the detail that's there in the chest and the color is really well done. And it goes really well with the, uh, the green here. Again, really, really cool. The arms, some uh, uh, gray or silver there rather with the green. I guess it's like camel green. Moving on to the... Uh, the midsection here, again, legs, same uh, green, and uh, a little bit of gray detail. But I think what's there is really well done. He has a bit of a backpack, but um, I don't mind the backpack because I think this is pretty much how he was in the show. And it's not anything that gets in the way of uh, the tran uh, you know, of the articulation when a robot mode. Of course, I would have preferred if this was a bit more integrated into the back right now it's kind of just hanging there uh, I guess you could kind of move it in if you wanted to I prefer to have it this way uh, no big deal uh, but overall it's a neat little figure uh, I do enjoy these mini bots so it's really cool now onto my little nitpicks is of course things like this um, I think they've done such a good job with other figures where they don't have any hollow pieces in this case 
this is hollow because the fist goes in here for the transformation. But if you're in robot mode and you're posing this guy, uh, some kind of punching uh, motion, you're going to get a bit of hollowness here. I wish they could have done a better job there. But again, at this price point, I know, um, you know, that's, that. you know, they can't, it can't, they can't all be perfect. So this is not bad by any means. Uh, here on the legs, one thing that I not too crazy about the legs is I wish they could have done a better way with uh, sort of making the feet look like they're part of the whole leg structure here. Right now you have this big chunky feet which, which do fit the character and you have this small tiny uh, little feet which I'm not too crazy uh, over that but again at this price point for a figure this small uh, I guess some sacrifices had to be made and overall the figure is very posable again you could see there the fists uh the shoulders you can move this he has about 90 degree bend there the uh, hands do not turn around right uh there is a bit of a i guess extra articulation here but that's for the transformation like if you move this out um that's one of the parts of the transformation but i guess you could use that for articulation the head here um again you can move it i had a bit of a hard time with trying to turn mine around but it does fully turn around what i do is i pull this out and you can turn it fully around for whatever posing you want to do he kicks he again there's a 90 as they call it and uh, the articulation here on the ankles and you guys could see there's like a bit of a mushroom peg there for the legs and the waist does turn fully around that's also part of the transformation but that this guy is uh pretty possible you can put him in some great poses uh here he can hold his gun and shoot at the decepticons or at least attempt to but this figure uh overall i'm happy with it as i said a uh, little gripes here and there but nothing uh too crazy and definitely i think fits the bill really well for me uh, as far as transformation um, I have transformed uh, this guy a couple of times. I'm going to attempt to do it for you guys on camera. So here we go. Let's start off here with these uh, hands. So in this case of this hand, same thing here. You're going to turn him this way because in this case, these are the tabs that go on this side. You're going to make sure to turn this hand around this way. There you go. So now that we have those there, um, you can then move these out as I showed earlier. You can pull them all the way out and just have them out like this for now. Same thing here. You, you kind of rotate these. Okay. Then what you could do is uh, take, you could pull this whole section out, the chest. It pulls out like that. By this point, I usually just grab the head and turn it all the way around because otherwise, if you leave it facing forward, you're just going to have the head. Uh, facing down in vehicle mode and then you take this you guys can see there's this turns you could just turn it all the way around you see the front of the car um so that's one part done then if you wanted to you could take that so that it looks like that now uh, back here you could take this back section and pull it slightly out like this you can leave it for that like that now and then this section you could turn it just like that. We're going to eventually turn it all the way down. Uh, now, on to the legs. First thing is let's take this and turn it fully this way, right? And one of the steps of the transformation involves essentially undoing the legs here. And the cool part here is that these legs, um, I never had the old brawn toy, but the older Transformer, like from the 80s uh, figure, I believe his... Uh, his legs were this skinny so i don't i'm assuming they did that on purpose as an homage uh, but it's truly really cool right because i believe the old toy just kind of these sections were essentially his legs in this case you know they've done a better job integrating the legs um you're going to take these which are the feet now and essentially um just fold them in like that same thing here you're going to fold them in like that now if you notice here I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, there's a hinge here, and this is going to, you're going to pull it out, and you'll see that it forms part of that uh, front window, and it sits like that. So that's really cool. 
And then as I said, when you do the same thing on this side, these sections here are going to get tabbed into here and here. So I'm going to take this, pull it out, and you're going to make sure that as you're putting this in here, that I don't know if you could see it in there because of the lighting here, that these sections kind of correspond with the uh, the tabs here. So let's attempt to do that here. I don't know if you guys could see it. There is the tabs or sections. They, they, they fit right in once you get them folded in. Um, there you go. And it should look something like that. And you guys could see there's the, um, the, the windows there. The other part of this is right here on the fists where I'm pointing at. There's sections where uh, they get tabbed in. So your legs are going to get tabbed into the fist like that. It's not, it doesn't click or anything. They kind of just sit in there, at least in my copy. So it's going to look something uh, like this. Once you have this, this section of the foot, it's going to get tucked in this uh, empty space here. So pretty much you're just going to take this and fold it in. This section is going to sit there. One thing to keep in mind is this uh, little tab here on the upper body is going to get tabbed in uh, here. So you'll see if it's um right in and also uh there's a tab here on the front of the the grill that's gonna go in here so we're gonna do that and that's it so it'll look something like that and then we do the same thing on this section here you're gonna turn this and you make sure the feet go tucked in here and you're gonna make sure everything that's in here gets tabbed into that and that goes tab to that so, there you go. Now you're all tabbed in. You got to make sure these are tabbed in. And then we're pretty much there. Next thing you do is you kind of fold the, um, the roof here down. And there are, again, more tabs here. So uh, these tabs here, you're going to make sure that they go into those empty sections there. So pretty much fold it down and make sure they're sitting in there. And then the last thing to do is this panel, this back panel. Uh, you see there, these are not necessarily tabs. They look like little plastic hooks. They're going to sit here and here. So you're just going to solve that. And then that's it. And then pretty much now you have Braun in his vehicle mode. What you could do is if you want some uh, gun storage, you could put it here on the roof and he can go around shooting Decepticons um, there. Uh, this wheel does turn, um, so that's kind of cool if you want to use it as a turret for the gun, as I said. But this vehicle mode is pretty cool. I think it ties, ties up uh, pretty neatly. Um, you know, there's like no nothing sort of hanging out, even though these are the legs. Um, but I, I do like this. I love this little vehicle mode. Uh, as I said, I guess the only thing is you could tell this is pretty much the chest and the head. This is why I turned the head fully around so that, you know, you're not staring at the at his face in vehicle mode. But in vehicle mode, I'm assuming most folks are going to display him like this. And like this, he definitely plays a part. I think he looks awesome. Uh, one of the things when I compare this to Beachcomber, though, is Beachcomber had rubber wheels. Uh, this guy is just regular old plastic. So kind of interesting. They went with this nice uh, rubber wheels on Beachcomber. But went for the standard uh, old plastic wheels in this guy. He does roll pretty nicely. So again, pretty cool. This vehicle mode for me, um, yeah, no complaints on, on my end. Maybe here it looks a bit unfinished in this section. But uh, again, doesn't bother me too much. The transformation is pretty intuitive. And you're able to hide a lot of the, uh, the body parts in, in a nice way, right? So that's really, really cool. I do love the painted windows rather than clear plastic. I don't believe this is clear plastic, so thank you for that. And again, big Autobot symbol here. And the green is really well done. I guess it's like an army uh, green there. Yeah, here's the back. A really cool uh, little vehicle mode. Alrighty, so as we close the video, I am really happy with this guy. I'm glad we got him um, minor... Uh, Picking from me aside, I think this is a great looking uh, figure, a really well done representation here of uh, Braun. So that's him. 
And for a first comparison, here he is next to, and if I can get him to stand, this is uh, from Titans Return uh, Brawn. This was the Brawn I had in my collection until this guy came out. Uh, I thought it was a really cool figure. I think this thing was only like $9.99 when it came out, or maybe $12.99. Uh, so it was a small scale uh, figure nonetheless, but I thought it was well done. But uh, I mean, no comparison. Again, this one kind of blows it completely um, out of the water. This is not a bad figure by any means, but again, just wanted to show him there so you guys could see the um, differences and likeness. Uh, they both have the same sort of uh, backpack hanging out the back. Um, but again, you know, the Studio Series one is a much, much better figure. Uh, this guy's going to get relegated to vehicle mode, uh, maybe next to Metroplex. But there you go. Just want to show the difference there. So we'll put him aside for now. Here he is next to Ultra Magnus. This is the Earthrise uh, version that will soon be replaced by my studio series, uh, Ultra Magnus. But that's a really cool figure. And let's want to show the massive uh, size difference there. So we'll move Ultra Magnus out of the way. Here he is next to... Astro trained from the siege series and again i think that fits in really well like whole different line to you know 86 series uh movie series to siege and then here he is next to another decepticon here he is next to uh starscream this is earthrise starscream so again great job sort of uh mixing up all these different um lines together they have a very cohesive look so we'll move Starscream out of the way. We'll move Astro Train out of the way here. Uh, let's start again. Here he is next to Cup. This is uh, the Busworthy Bumblebee version with the more 86 movie, I guess, uh, deco or whatever you want to call it. So that's really cool. There you can see him. Here he is next to um, Ironhide. The two... Uh, grumpy old men uh, he was grumpy as well but there you go again i think these look r really well together so that's that's awesome that we're able to get that and for some older figures again more titans return these were smaller figures along the same line and price point as the uh legends uh brawn that i just showed you a second ago so the sea spray and as wind charger if i'm remembering correctly so i'm hoping that because we're getting all these smaller ones hasbro will uh do us a good one and also give us updated ones of this guy and this guy as well but again no comparison there this guy's in another class of his own so we'll move these two guys aside moving on here we go with uh bumblebee and um cliff jumper so again i think this looks awesome right there this is Cliff Jumper from the Busworthy Bumblebee um, series, and this is Netflix uh, Bumblebee again, which I, I believe he was released as Earthrise or something. But uh, I got this is like a Wal was a Walmart exclusive, I believe. But again, I think that looks really really nice. And then two more recent uh, additions here are um, Cosmos and um, Beachcomber here. And man, this is like a dream come true for me. More mini bots. Uh, they're all scaled well with each other and they look great. They look awesome. Um, uh, you know, the beachcomber here with his nice uh, rubber wheels, which I wish uh, Brawny here had come with that. But again, this, it, this is awesome looking. This definitely looks the part. So for me, uh, this figure does come highly recommended. I would actually go out and get it. And here he is next to his leader. Optimus Prime. So there you guys see him. Again, works out really well. So it's really cool to be able to put all these lines together. But overall, I'm happy with the figure. Um, you know, if I've missed anything, let me know. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Um, as always, you know, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the video. If, or if you got something out of it, then great. That's always awesome. But other than that, if there's nothing else, I can bring you. There's Braun. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Take care.